John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at the new Black Cat by Bad Cat. Before I tell you about this very cool lamp, take a second to subscribe below. That way we'll keep you apprised of all the cool new gear that's coming out there. The Black Cat by Bad Cat. So it's a 20 watt hand wired amp uh, featuring two EL84s in AB configuration three 12AX7 tubes, a Baltic birch cabinet. There's two channels, a clean and an overdrive, and each channel has a dedicated volume and master control. There's a global treble bass and cut to sculpt your tone. There's a bias tremolo with intensity and speed, studio quality reverb, a transparent effects loop that's buffered, which I'm actually using, I have a uh, Keeley Halo running through that so we can hear just how transparent this uh, buffered effects loop is. Um, and there is a 12 inch speaker designed by Celestine specifically for Bad Cat in this. So those are the components. Before we get into the tones, I'll tell you about how we're recording it. Uh, this is my Les Paul. Um, I'm going to play a Strat later on so you can kind of hear that single coil thing. Um, as I said, the buffered uh, effects loop is running into a halo. Other than that, I'm running straight into it with this curly cable. Miking it with a 57, it's going out to you. So basically, I'm plugging straight in with a, a delay in the, in the effects loop. So let's start with their tremolo. Tremolo is my favorite effect, and they really got it right on this one. It's a tube bias bass tremolo that uh, can be controlled with this switch that comes with it, which gives you tremolo on both channels and a channel switcher right there. And it is so rich. Now if we turn up that intensity, gets that total choppiness, like and I think it's I think it's because of the tubes, you hear these overtones. I mean, you can almost see that, that shiny glass just wobbling like that. But if you bring it down to, a, okay, that's the uh, speed all the way down, it can go as slow or as fast as you want come down to something in a little more subtle. Great, okay, so that I love. Next you got a reverb over here that gets super wet. I mean, 
mean, you can surf all day on that thing. Uh, or get it down to a pretty subtle. That's probably where I would keep it. Um, in that kind of subtle but there. Anyway, that sounds great. Okay, the, uh, right now we are in channel one. Uh, masters at uh, straight up, but I find much like on much like on a Fender uh, Blackface amp, if you get the volume above halfway, you start getting a little bit of breakup right there. And I love that that you can have. You can have even your clean ch tone get a little bit of just on the verge of breaking up. Just really warm. So I love the fact that your clean doesn't have to be entirely clean, or if you want to boost that master up and keep your volume down, it will be as clean as you can hope. Just pristine. So if you're if that's your bag, if you're going full kind of jazzy thing. Great, right? And even at a, loader, a louder volume, just as clean as, clean as can be. Okay, so we've dealt with the reverb, we've dealt with the tremolo, now let's look at these global tone sculpting uh, EQ. We've got treble, bass, and cut. Now the cut is a high-end cut, so I've got them all just kind of pointing in the same direction, probably about one o'clock. When we dial this in, You know, it kind of lets you shave off whatever's spiking out at you, so good enough. Uh, bass. Kind of like that all the way up. You know, the low end. Uh, I feel it's like very full but tight. It doesn't get floppy on me. Even all the way up. Trouble. Cool. Anyway, as you can see, a lot of ways to sculpt your tone. Um, I'm sure if this is my amp, I would be tweaking with it all the time like that, but I won't bother you with it right now. Now, we're, uh, let's look at the other channel, number two. I've got my, I've got my volume at about, oh, I guess that's just shy of 12, maybe 11-ish. Uh, and the master uh, down a bit. But we can get it to a, to a pretty modest overdrive. Like that, which I really love. But I think where it really sings is somewhere. Now, 
I love that. Uh, I generally get my dirt with pedals in front of a clean amp, but man, I don't think there is a pedal that can duplicate tubes doing what that's doing right now. That's just, to me, that's a perfect kind of overdrive. And there's still room to go, but the reason I use, um, I tend to use one channel, one clean channel, is that I run my, all my effects in just one board in front of it, and the delays when you switch channels like that just get out of hand. However, uh, Bad Cat thought about that, and they have put a, um, a buffered effects loop in the back that is, they say is totally transparent, and I think it is. Right now, let's try it with uh, running into a delay and see how transparent it is. Right? I think it is transparent. So we've heard it with humbuckers. Let me go ahead and put on my Strat and you can see what it sounds like with single coils. Okay, so here's my Fender Strat and same settings. <laughs> Now, what I like about this, where I think the cut really comes into play, is say you switch to a brighter guitar or a darker guitar. You can just quickly <laughs> peel off that face peeling high end or add it right in on the fly like that quickly. So. <laughs> That took all that bite that you needed for the Les Paul out of it. Now, what I think I, I love about this amp the most is there's some, there's some high gain amplifiers where you plug into them, you plug a Tele into it, or a PRS or a Les Paul or a Gretsch or whatever, and they all sound the same. I mean, they just sound the same. I can't tell what a person is playing. Um, but on this, you totally get the, the character of the guitar. <laughs> That is, that is so stratty, right? See, I mean, as dirty as that is, you know it's a Strat. Now let's try it on the clean channel. I mean, that's as stratty as it gets, right? So good on you, Bad Cat. The Black Cat is, I mean, I, I, I love the clean channel, I love the dirty channel, I love the tremolo. I think you guys really nailed it. It comes in at about $2,000, it's a hand-wired amp, and I don't know, it, it certainly fits my thing. Uh, so if your thing is anything like what I like, probably fits your thing. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to uh, our magazine, have it sent right to your house. This is John Bollinger, till next time. <laughs>
ser 